Hey guys, welcome back. As always, my name is Lazar, and recently we got the Godval Prime. Now, the Godval Prime is a standard-ish assault rifle in Warframe, which deals exclusively puncture damage, and that guide outlined the following to me. There's still a whole lot of Tenno that don't understand how the brand new puncture proc actually works. And while it is pretty simple to understand, I think it's best we cover our bases, and since we're here, let's throw in that cross proc as well. One good place to take a look at what a damage type can do is in the modding screen and all you gotta do is simply hover over it and the little pop-up window will appear. Puncture, highly effective against Grenier armor. Now what exactly does highly effective even means? But we're gonna be getting a bit more into detail with that just a bit later. Moderately effective against Grenier alloy armor, infested sinew and corpus robotics. So essentially it tackles the major factions, the Grenier, the Corpus and the Infested. Infested with Infested Sinew, Corpus with Corpus Robotics and of course Grenier with Grenier Alloy Armor and Grenier Armor in general because you see the Grenier have multiple armor types. Puncture status effect temporarily reduces the target's damage output by up to 90%. Wow, that's fantastic. Well, yes, but you see, you are not getting the full story when it comes to these small pop-ups. For that, we're gonna have to go over to the wiki. But before we do that, you do get one more effect caused by puncture procs, and this is the one that was added last and has caused some confusion. It states the following. Increases critical chance of damage taken by up to 25% with multiple stacks. And I know that's a little bit fuzzy, so let's have a look over on the wiki. I'll leave a link in the description to this article. What I need you to understand is that the wiki or fandom.com is not some kind of official digital extremes website where they explain mechanics. This in essence is a fan website with ads. It's spread across multiple games, but the information here is not 100% of the time accurate. That said, it's a fantastic place if you want to increase your knowledge about Warframe, especially if you're the type of individual that likes to get down under the hood and understand exactly how mechanics works. Getting back to puncture procs, it states the exact same information as in game, the 90% damage reduction and the 25% increase critical chance. However, this is where we actually learn how the mechanic applies. The status effect of puncture damage is called weakened. It lasts for 6 seconds and stacks up to a maximum of 5 times. Affected enemies will have a yellow aura. The victim's attack deals 40% less damage. Now this refers to the initial proc. The first proc doesn't give you 10%. The first proc technically according to the should give you 50% and each subsequent proc up to a maximum of 5 should give you an additional 10%. So 50% on the first one and another 40% on the subsequent 4, capping out at 90% damage reduction. So sometimes information can be a bit confusing, because it says here 80%, but then again, dude, the game said 90%, who am I trusting? You should always trust the information in-game, since it comes from the first party, not the third party. And the second part, the whole crit thing, the victim received 5% increased weapon critical chance per proc, up to 25% at max stacks. 5 stacks, for each pretty simple to understand this bonus is additive after mods and does not apply to area of effect damage or warframe ability so no extra crit love for aoe and it's a bonus additive after effect you may have heard of something similar from arcane avenger treat this effect as an arcane avenger this means that the puncture proc does not magically increase your critical tier or anything of the sort it simply gives you five percent additional crit chance on the target Bonus additive after first stack, and it's as simple as that. If you want to dive a bit more deeper, you can even see the damage modifiers 50% against ferrite, 25% against infested sinew, and also the minus 50% versus proto shield, and so on. It even explains how this damage bonus or reduction actually works. As with all damage types effective against armor, puncture damage type modifier works in two ways. It ignores the percentage of the target's armor and increases the damage dealt in the same way as a type modifier against hit points. So basically, if we were talking about something like ferrite armor, so that 50% extra, practically speaking, this means that puncture damage is only reduced by 50% of the target's whole ferrite armor and the base damage is increased by 50%. You get how that one works, or I hope you get it at least. There is one more way in game for you to see these modifiers and hopefully this will be a bit more clearer. When you spawn targets in the simulacrum, you should buy a key from Cephalon Samaris if you care about such things. Let's take the corrupted heavy goons which are our favorite target. If I hover over them, it tells me what kind of armor and health they have. I got ferrite armor 500 and clone flesh 700. You see the puncture prox has two little pluses, the corrosive image has three little pluses and you also got minuses next to the slide and the explosion type as well, I think it was called blast. You can use these as clear indications to a target's weaknesses and vulnerabilities. Simple? 
Now, if you take a look at Ferrite Armor one more time, we got the two pluses for the puncture. That means 50% extra damage. But if we take a look at Alloy Armor, so let's say Bombard, as you should know, Grenier have multiple types of armor, Ferrite, Alloy. We got a Corrupted Bombard here and a single plus next to the Ferrite Armor. So I'm still getting bonus damage, but not as much as I would have gotten in the case of uh, uh, Ferrite Armor. Now in the past, a single symbol would have meant 25%, but according to the wiki, Puncture Damage is only dealing 50% bonus versus Alloy Armor. So that is that to bear in mind. Finally, let's do a little bit of a test with the Godval Prime so you can see exactly how everything goes down. We're going to be spawning in level 20 Corrupted Heavy Goons. You know what kind of armor they have. You know what kind of damage my weapon is dealing. But in case you don't, let's have one more quick look. We're going to be using something unmodded. My weapon deals entire puncture damage, 23% critical chance, 2.5x critical multiplier, and a status chance of 27%. Let's see what happens when I hit these targets, though. <laughs> I should have chosen higher targets. We're just gonna go for a body shot so the headshot bonus multiplier doesn't come into play. In case you didn't know, yes, there is a headshot bonus multiplier, especially if you're using critical weapons, it is vital to go for headshots. That's a separate subject. However, link the cards right now for full and detailed guide on that. As you can see, my target right now has three puncture procs. That means what? I'm getting 15% additional critical chance against it as long as that puncture proc actually lacks. You see, they're going down. They have individual timers and all whatnot. So I no longer have a critical chance of 23% right now, right? What do I have with three fun puncture procs? Well, I have 15 plus 23. Fantastic, 48%. I love it. Now, keep in mind that the additional critical chance I'm getting from puncture procs on targets are not and will not be affected by mods. This is a bonus additive after it simply slaps at the end of the whole calculation. So I can slap in as many press critical chance mods as I want to. They will still only be applying to that base 23% of the weapon. So bear that one in mind. You'll also notice that, hold on a second. What's with the red crit? You got red crits. Why are you getting red crits? That doesn't make any sense. You're far off 100%. That's true. Critical chance tiers in Warframe goes like this. Tier 1 is yellow. Tier 2 is orange. Tier 3 is red. And everything over tier 3 is red again. There's an infinite number of critical tiers in Warframe. You got 5, 5, 6. Theoretically, you can go to infinite. And they're all red. So bear that one in mind. The red crits I am getting right now are from the Godvad special mechanic. This one has about a 5 to 6% chance of getting red crits from any damage instance. It doesn't receive any sort of bonus critical chance or anything of the sort. It simply takes that damage instance and says, hey, 300% crit on this one. So it doesn't add on top of anything that I got. It works similarly to the Kavat buff if you're familiar with that one. And that's pretty much it to the puncture proc. You get 25% at max stacks, 5% per proc, critical chance, bonus additive after. It does not increase your critical tier or anything of the sort. Here's something that does increase your critical tier. There's a special bonus in Warframe that you can get by using Vigilante Armaments and the Vigilante set in general. Per mod, it gives you 5% chance to enhance critical hits from primary weapons. Now I know it says 20. This is a simulacrum bug. You see, there's all these little segments within the mod. You're only supposed to get one per mod and you are getting only one per mod. It's just a visual thing that's been in Warframe for actual years. You see, this one says enhance critical hits from primary weapons. What in the actual bloody hell is enhanced? There's a reflection. It takes it to the next tier. So now, theoretically, out of my weapon, you should be able to see something that doesn't normally happen. You're gonna get to see white damage, yellow damage, orange damage, and red damage. That is absolutely insane. White, yellow, orange, and red. Essentially, I am getting everything. Now, the keen eye among you might notice the following. Hold on a second. You are getting a lot more red than you're getting orange. Didn't you say the chance was 5%? Oh, absolutely, but you're forgetting the actual if, the condition. The condition is for the hit to first be a crit. So that Vigilante Armament bonus, that 5% can only apply if the damage instance is a crit. So what is my critical chance? 23% as a base if I don't take into account the puncture procs. If I got puncture procs, then you can add another 5% per puncture proc. And only to crits, does Vigilante Armament has a chance to actually upgrade 
that crit. As the weapon's red mechanic is built in and it doesn't care, it doesn't have any prerequisites whatsoever. Now bear in mind that this specific crit upgrade that the Godfather Prime is currently doing, at least from my point of view, seems to be like some sort of bug. Essentially, I'm not sure if this is an actual feature of the weapon, an undocumented bonus of the Godfather Prime, or it's just some leftover spaghetti code, so bear that one in mind. Let's talk about the cold status effect next, which works very similarly to the puncture status effect, and we're only gonna be addressing mostly the bonus that was added in the last patches both with rhyme rounds and with prime cryo as well what is the effect of cold damage all i gotta do is hover over cold status effect causes enemies to move and attack up to 90 percent slower and take up to up to again 50 percent more critical damage with multiple stacks temporarily where have I read this one before? Ah, it works the same as the puncture one. Fantastic. Only this one gives me 50% at max tax, while its puncture only gives me 25%. So, puncture plus cold, critical chance, critical damage. Absolutely fantastic, right? Let's hit a target and see how that one actually works. We're going to be spawning the same targets as before. These are only here to serve as guinea pigs, mostly. Oh, look at that look at that what's going on higher damage yes now cold is stacked up to nine stacks not five like puncture so if i'm getting nine stacks how does that actually work hold on a second am i getting four point something per stack well not exactly the status effect of cold damage is freeze it lasts for six seconds stacks up to nine times with each proc having their own duration so you're not refreshing the duration just like you're not refreshing the duration when it comes to puncture procs you need consistent procs on your target to keep up the maximum effect the target's movement speed fire rate and attack speed is reduced by 50 percent subsequent procs at five percent slow up to a maximum of 90 fantastic essentially your target is gonna be super slowed it's barely gonna fire it's a fantastic status effects for uh, defense purposes not only that you are getting that fantastic critical damage the target receives 10 percent increased critical multiplier on the initial proc and five percent per subsequent proc to a maximum of 50 percent additive after mods that additive thing again yes my friends it works in the exact same way that arcane avenger works so it adds at the end of the calculation simply on top of what you already have that of course has the bonus that the weapon can have no critical chance no critical damage and as long as you can keep puncture procs for example on the target and cold procs on the target they don't even need to be from that specific weapon the weapon can critical chance and critical damage on that target and I do believe, my friends, that is pretty much it. Hopefully this has cleared things up for you. As always, my name has been Lazar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe only if you enjoy the content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.